background. I do have an issue. I tested my Dynan backup displays because that was due for the backup batteries and one of them failed. Um, so I am going to rebuild one of those batteries. I have everything already on hand to do that because I kind of expected that to happen at some point. Um, so I bought my own battery cells um, and I've already rebuilt someone else's Dynan batteries, uh, two of them. So I have a little bit of experience. You have to transfer over the circuit board from this one to um, the new battery pack that I'm going to make. Um, so yeah, we're going to take those batteries out. They're not going to be easy to get out of there. So first thing we need to do is charge up the new battery cells. I think I got it from imrbatteries.com, these cells. So we're going to charge them up so they're all the same voltage. And here's my spot welder. I got all the stuff to make the new batteries. And wrap to wrap the battery. So we're going to go ahead and start taking apart the old batteries in the garage. And uh, once these are charged, then we can build the new pack. All right, so I got the batteries here in the dining, and I got my new battery cells right here. So we are going to take apart these. I'm going to do one at a time. I'm going to make sure I don't damage these. And yeah, we're just going to swap everything onto that one. I got to kind of disassemble the battery here. So let's get to it and do that. This works. In case you guys don't know about these, they're battery powered coffee mugs. Pretty awesome from Amazon. Picked one up for Christmas for my wife and uh, myself. Bought myself it, and yeah, it's awesome. It's uh, pretty nice working in the garage here. Hopefully, at some point, we'll have a, an aircraft back here, and we'll do a, an aircraft build as well in the future. Um, that's something I've been thinking about a lot, and uh, I'd really like to do, especially just to to do it with my kids, just for them to learn and uh, see how things are built. So yeah, hopefully, we can get that project going at some point, possibly this year. We'll see. So I don't know what aircraft I want to do yet, but that's on the bucket list. All right. So this is what we need to transfer when we make our new battery. All right, let's cut this open very carefully. Some nice protective stickers on the metal terminals. So this is the main thing we need to get off here is this control board. Alright guys, so I am going to solder this together. I've taped the battery together like this to make my pack. I followed this two uh, positive and the negative and then positives. So you just want to make sure you copy the battery you're taking apart. Um, so I'm going to do that before removing this <clears throat> BMS control board um, just so that I get the pattern right and all the connections on there good. So now we're going to go ahead and spot weld the cut piece of nickel here and the strip. The batteries I'm using are higher capacity than the ones that Dynan sells. These ones are 2200 milliamp hour, and I bought these VTC6 batteries. They're 3000 milliamp hour. Um, I can put a link in the description where you can buy them. And uh, yeah, they worked really well. I've rebuilt another guy's uh, Dynam battery pack already. Um, you want to make sure that it's all lined up good. Right on. Okay, so I got the one battery pack built. I'm going to do a second one because I need two. Um, you want to verify that the voltage is correct. 
So you can do your positive on the one end and the negative on the other end and I've got 12.5 volts. So that is the correct voltage. You want the 12 volt battery pack right here, 12.5 volts, which is perfect. All right, so number one is done. We'll do the second one and then we can transfer this, solder it on this board and wrap it up and put it in and it'll be good to go. This is BMS. I'm just going to leave it on this um, soft tape that they have on there and we'll just tape it on to this new battery pack. Alright, so we got that all done. Now I have to solder on these connections. Hey right, guys, so this battery is built. I just have to wrap it up. Okay, there you have it. One battery done. Right on. There's the battery. So I saved myself about three or four hundred dollars by doing this myself. Um, I forget how much the new ones are, but they're quite expensive to just buy pre-made. So if you do this, you're going to save yourself a lot of money. Uh, my aircraft is experimental, so I can do this. So if yours is certified, you're not allowed to do this. So just make sure that if you are going to do this, you're allowed to do it by the um, FAA. So yeah, that's uh, all I have for you guys. I uh, just got to finish up this last one and then put these back in the plane. All right, talk to you later.